From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Thursday's top stories Our government are making some adjustments following the assassination of Haiti's president, leading to instability in our country. Border security has been beefed up, and Foreign Affairs Minister Henfield made this announcement on the status of the embassy in Haiti and its staff. We have instructed the, the closure of the embassy. Uh, we are working uh, assiduously now on other plans as to how we, how we move forward. We have uh, four Bahamians in Haiti um, at the embassy, four diplomats. Uh, we, we were on the phone with them all morning uh, discussing the way forward. Uh, they, in the moment, are safe. Um, and, and we will we will announce plans as we as we move forward. Prime Minister Minister has released a statement saying, among other things, that he was deeply saddened by the developments in Haiti. PLP leader Davis expressing shock and regret. CARICOM leaders are monitoring the situation in Haiti closely. The investigation into that tragic plane crash continues, and there are reports now that the two pilots who died were not qualified to fly that plane. And there's another report indicating that police are looking into reports that the plane was stolen. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Health officials continue to monitor the coronavirus numbers in the country heading into the Independence Holiday Weekend. They're concerned about the increasing number of persons being hospitalized. Former Deputy Prime Minister Mother Pratt is among those hospitalized with the virus, but she's getting better, according to her doctors. Police looking into an incident at the Joseph Alfred Dock here in the capital, which left a man dead. Reports say the man was electrocuted while he was working on a small boat dock there. Nine more Cubans in the immigration system brought to the capital for processing after being picked up in the Keysal Bank area. Police complete another murder investigation charging Jason Nottage with the June 30th murder of Marvin Roll. Changes at the top of the Democratic National Alliance. Deputy Leader Buscemi Umberster has resigned, stepping away from frontline politics to deal with personal matters. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No major systems in the area, partly sunny and breezy. Highs in the upper 80s today, 88 at Freeport, 89 in the capital, 88 at Matthew Town. Caution flags up for boaters, winds getting up to 20 knots, the seas up to 6 feet over open waters. High tide now, the next low around 3 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the upper 70s to low 80s. No systems in the tropics to be concerned about right now. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. We're now in the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to complete your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Selling a car, lot, home, or computer? Call us today. The Tribune Classified Trader. 502-2351. Your number one source for buying and selling items in the Bahamas. If you really want to sell your personal items, then the Tribune Classified is the answer. Pick up a copy Monday through Saturday in the Bahamas' leading newspaper, The Tribune, the people's newspaper. Thursday's World News headlines, Tropical Storm Elsa now moving up the east coast of the U.S. It's weak now, but it's still dumping rain as it goes. The storm blamed for at least one death in the U.S. Florida trying to dry out after heavy rainfall from Elsa for the past couple of days. Florida officials now say they do not expect to find anyone alive in the rubble of that collapsed condo. It's now turned into a recovery effort as they try to find the missing person still unaccounted for. Caricom officials watching the situation in Haiti closely following the assassination of that country's president, not immediately clear what happens there next. Tribune's gas track of prices, Shell 509, SO 507, Rubus 501, no changes in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Countdown to the Olympics in Tokyo. The Tribune Sports has its latest profile. Game 2 in the NBA Finals tonight. DeAndre Ayton and the Suns look to go two up on the box in the series. Get the latest Major League Baseball news. Jazz on the Marlins beat the Dodgers again. Find out who made the finals in that Euro Soccer Championship tournament. Updates on Wimbledon and the Tour de France in the Tribune Sports Thursday. 
all of your sports details. You want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. <laughs> 